Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Dream Chaser space plane passes NASA milestone test. Man pleads guilty after crashing drone into water bomber. And asteroid samples contain molecules critical for life. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Dream Chaser space plane passes NASA milestone test. Sierra Space announced that its Dream Chaser space plane successfully completed the Joint Test 10B milestone in collaboration with NASA. The test demonstrated that Dream Chaser was able to power on, air cool, and exchange data with multiple powered payloads in the pressurized cabin. The testing fulfills an important progression in moving toward a planned mission for Dream Chaser to resupply the ISS. The successful completion of the test confirms that Dream Chaser will accommodate various payloads. This was done by demonstrating that the vehicle can provide power within a specific range of voltages and maintain the required environmental conditions for those payloads. In addition, all vehicle and payload data were seen in both Sierra Space's Mission Control Room in Louisville, Colorado, as well as in the payload support control rooms at the NASA Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Three payloads, candidates for flight on Dream Chaser's first mission, DCC-1, were evaluated during the testing. One, Polar, a cryogenic system for preserving scientific samples aboard the ISS, at temps between minus 95 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius. Two, Power Descent Utility Locker, a facility built by Space Tango holding two biological experiments that require power during ascent. And three, NASA Single Stowage Locker, a standard stowage system carrying experiments and other payloads. After the break, Trump appoints Chris Rochelleau acting FAA head. For over 30 years, the massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all new digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, an even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Trump appoints Chris Rochelleau acting FAA head. President Trump announced the appointment of FAA Deputy Administrator Chris Rochelleau to Acting Administrator following the mid-air collision between an American Eagle passenger flight and a U.S. Army Black Hawk helicopter. Rochelleau is a 22-year veteran of the agency during two separate stints beginning in 1996. In 2002, he left to be a senior policy advisor for the TSA for three years and then returned to the FAA until 2022 when he left to become the COO for the NBAA. Saudi Arabian GACA approves Matternet M2 drone ops. Matternet announced it has received approval from Saudi Arabia's General Authority of Civil Aviation to operate its M2 urban delivery drone in the region, making the company the first operator to receive this approval. The GACA determined that the U.S. FAA type certification received by the M2 met its airworthiness standards. Matternet received its FAA type certification in September 2022 and began operating its home delivery service in the Silicon Valley region in California in 2024. Serbia to purchase three Archer Midnights. Serbia is interested in acquiring three of Archer Aviation's Midnight Evital aircraft to be used during the Expo 2027 Play for Humanity in its capital city, Belgrade, according to reports from the country. Alexander Vucic, the president of Serbia, at the World Economic Forum in Davos on January 21st, hinted that the government had signed a memorandum of understanding with Archer, but no other details were given. NOTAM system restored after temporary outage. The NOTAM 2 air mission system returned to working status at 1100 a.m. on February 2nd after a several hour outage. Though officials said there was minimal disruption to operations, the event hopefully gives the FAA a little extra motivation to modernize the system. The primary NOTAM system failed late on February 1st. While this does not directly affect flight operations, NOTAMs are critical to inform crews of any potential hazards, including procedure changes, lighting outages, or special events nearby. 
That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Man pleads guilty after crashing drone into water bomber. A 56-year-old California man recently pled guilty after he flew his drone into a super scooper firefighting aircraft. The incident forced responders to temporarily ground all nearby aircraft and take the damaged plane out of service. California authorities have reported at least 40 unauthorized drone incidents during the Palisades fire, which scorched over 23,400 acres of land and left at least 12 residents dead. On January 9th, 56-year-old Peter Tripp Aikman sent his small drone towards the flames to assess the damage. Instead, after leaving Aikman's line of sight, it ended up in the wing of Quebec One, a CL-415 super scooper specifically designed for firefighting. The aircraft can scoop up upwards of 1,500 gallons of water to dump on fires. The collision led to all aircraft responding to the Palisades fire being temporarily grounded. According to LA Fire Department spokesperson Eric Scott, Quebec One sustained wing damage and was out of service for approximately five days. It was put on priority for repair with hopes to get the aircraft back in the air as quickly as possible. Now Aikman is paying for the 3x6 drone-shaped hole with up to a year in federal prison. He pled guilty to one count of unsafe operation with an unmanned aircraft. After these messages, asteroid samples contain molecules critical for life. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Asteroid samples contain molecules critical for life. Samples returned to Earth from asteroid Bennu by NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft probe have been studied and have revealed the presence of molecules that here are key to life. In addition, they showed a history of salt water that potentially could serve as a broth to facilitate interactions among the molecules. The regolith samples do not contain evidence of life itself, but rather the conditions necessary for life as we know it, which could be widely dispersed across the solar system. This suggests a higher probability than previously thought for the existence of life on other planets and moons. Research papers published in the scientific journals Nature and Nature Astronomy shared some of the first in-depth analyses of the Bennu samples that were returned in 2023. The Nature Astronomy paper reported the presence of 14 of the 20 amino acids that organisms on Earth use to make proteins. Also present were all five of the nucleobases that Earth life uses to store and transmit genetic information in DNA and RNA. Nucleobases are the fundamental units of the genetic code and the mRNA-driven protein-making machinery in cells. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.